Hi, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a Java development environment. So there are two things that we must download. Uh, the first is a JDK package, which contains tools and libraries to help develop Java apps. And the second is the IDE, which is an application that we can write, debug, and run our code in. In this course, we're going to be using JDK version 8 and Eclipse Oxygen 3A as the JDK package and the IDE. And I also recommend you all to download these versions as well, since it's easier to follow along in class when we're all using the same versions. So first to check if you already have Java installed, if you're on Windows, you can go in your search bar and type CMD, which stands for command prompt. Then you can type Java, and if it gives this error, that means you don't have Java or JDK installed yet, and you can do that right now. If it doesn't give you this error, then most likely you already have Java installed, so you just have to connect it to the IDE. So if you don't have JDK installed yet, we're going to install it right now. So first you click on the download URL, and if you scroll down, uh, you'll see Java SE Development Kit 8U301. That's the one we want to download. If you go more down, it, there's a demos and samples downloads, which we don't want. So make sure you get the 8U301. Uh, there's a bunch of different options for your operating system. Just choose the one that's right for your operating system. So for me, I'm going to choose Windows 64-bit. So to download it, you just click on the link on the right side. And to download the JDK, you must have an Oracle account. Uh, you can create an account at the bottom by clicking Create Account. And you just fill out the form with your parents. And then you can just download the JDK. After it finishes downloading, you can go to your downloads directory and you'll see the JDK exe file, so you just double click on it to start running it. Then you can just follow the setup wizard. Over here it asks you where you want to install to. By default it installs under program files, so you can just select that. So after it's finished, it'll say it's successfully installed. And now if you go back to command prompt and type Java, you'll see th something different. And that means your Java has been installed. You can check the location of your JDK by typing where Java. And then it gives you the path, which is the path you specified in the setup wizard. So the purpose of typing this in command prompt is so that you can verify that your JDK has been installed. Now that you have your JDK installed, we can move on to the Eclipse Oxygen. So you can click on the download link, and the second one says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And there's three choices on the side. There's Windows 32 and 64-bit, there's Mac OS, and there's Linux. So just choose the correct one for your operating system. And then it'll download as a zip file, so you just wait for it to finish downloading. After it finishes downloading, you can click on the zip file. There's one folder inside called Eclipse. You can right click and click copy. Then under a folder in your system, for example, under C, uh, you can create a folder called apps. And inside apps, you can just paste the Eclipse folder that you copied. That way, Eclipse can stay somewhere in your local files, and in this case, it's under C slash apps. Now, inside the Eclipse folder, there is a file called eclipse.exe. You want to double-click on that, which will open Eclipse. 
When Eclipse is opened, it'll ask you to select a directory as a workspace. Uh, you can browse and just create a new folder under anywhere on your computer, for example, uh, under C again. You can make a new folder called workspace and you can just set that as your workspace. So the workspace is just a place where you'll save all your files and projects for all of your codes. Now once Eclipse finishes loading, you should see this welcome screen and that means uh, Eclipse has also been successfully installed and you can also just pin the Eclipse to your taskbar so that next time instead of having to open eclipse.exe in your file explorer, you can just find it at your taskbar. So this is the environment we're going to be using for our classes. I strongly recommend you all to download these versions as well, since it would be easier to troubleshoot if there's any problems. Also, please make sure you have the JDK and the IDE installed before the start of class, since it would save more time which we can use to cover the actual Java materials. If you have any problems while installing these, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to help. So yeah, see you all in class.